this week on New Music Friday. Young Thug, GFU. Slime Language 2 single without a buzz from Slime. How high did you need to be to make that decision? I see what you were going for here. A new age 3-6 Mafia to the club up track, but the problem is this doesn't work. See, there's much more to that classic than just the chant. The subtle layers of production, how each artist has brief forces to maximize the energy regardless of their skill level. It's like why Goldberg won all of his matchups in 30 seconds or less. It's because he was so bad of a wrestler, this was the only way. And you can build hype around that. This just drags on. This is like the longest 2 minutes and 45 second hype song I've ever experienced. It makes me want to go sober. And I honestly don't believe these artists are that bad. They did decent, but when a song doesn't work, it doesn't work. Breath Fires, Gravity, AKA Party Down the Block. He isn't a terrible singer. He attempts his highs, mids, falsettos, but it's a stretch to say that he's actually good. To be real, his music just blends in with the endless hordes of people that's doing the same thing. This is like eating a 20 piece McNugget and trying to describe which one of those were the best. This is what's wrong with life. People rather blend into the background than to have the spotlight on them and then complain about not getting a chance. Yet this song is a step in the right direction because Tyler assassinated convention harder than Agent 47. For better or worse, you're always going to get something unique when you mutter his name and this one was for the worst. Let's just not be on beat because let's screw up my voice and not chop anything because I like jelly sandwiches without peanut butter. Largely forgettable song but I believe he can develop with time. Little Peep California Girl. You still have more Little Peep music? Sigh. As I always say, out of respect for the dead, I will treat your music as I did while you were alive. And I didn't want to hear a peep out of Little Peep. Reason being is all these websites out here trying to give respect to Six Dog, saying how great of an underground rapper he was. You mean the guy with the Interscope deal? Sure you like underground music. But for Little Peep, super generic and lackluster with suitable adjectives. See, Triple X would make full songs around his pain with concepts, production, and all. Little Peep is just expressing pain, no balls, just pain, over repetitive, lesser production in which I could name about 10 producers right now that could do better. Not saying all of his songs sound the same, but you can tell they're all related. I hope the family the best and they keep his memory going, but let's not fool ourselves into thinking that this is competing with better artists that are unknown out here right now. Party Next Door. Colors EP. Have you noticed that there's been a lot of re-releases and deluxe editions to come out lately? You would think that in a pandemic, people who get paid to make music would have nothing else to do but make music, right? No. You can lock an artist in the booth and they'll come out with a passion to do street match. Re-releases are just trying to get the money that you felt an earlier project dissolved with your newfound success. I mean, he got nominated for Grammys years after the first one, so I can't blame him. And repackaging it like this will confuse people into thinking that it's new, but all it does for me is show me how little he's progressed over the years. Your promotional team deserves every award you got, fam. Is he terrible? Nah, but he's every dry Drake singing song that people love and I hate. I really don't see why anyone would care about your old music when you're still doing the same exact thing. But like Hillier Tuppin, oh you coming to the underground with me, like it or not. Taylor J, still ballin'. Return of the Grind God. Taylor J is one of the few artists from my earlier reviews that not only is still releasing music on a high level, but is also on his way of mastering his promotion. If there's anybody out there with a shot of a self-made breakthrough, it's probably him. And if there's anybody whose moves you should be peeping, it's his. It's rather motivating to see someone promote his projects every day for years and now watching all the returns come in. See, you get what you put in in this game. Not only must you put in a sheer bulk load of work, but you also must be creative and of the top caliber to have a shot. We must support the best of us if we hope to succeed. I'm convinced that his burning passion is the thing that caused all the Cali wildfires and that type of burning passion and desire is what's necessary in order to do this. Much respect to that man. Oh,